All right, sitting at a Georgia Pacific lumber plant. Um, it is the 28th of January. Texas is warm. It's 75 degrees. I'll try to keep the sun out of the uh, camera angle. Um, I yesterday I stopped uh, at a truck stop, a small one, but it was like six o'clock, so I, I thought I might have a chance of finding a spot, and I did. And it was kind of I parked it in there like I needed to, but I had uh, two minutes left on my clock, so I don't like cutting it that close. Because I was like, man, if I don't find a parking spot there, I won't be able to go anywhere else and I'll have to park like those uh, truckers who can't find a spot. And, which means finding, making my own spot. But anyway, that was my, f my first full 11 hour day and I did 650 miles. So... I could probably, uh, if I were to um, be empty or, yeah, I don't, I, I don't see me getting many more miles in an 11 hour day than that. But, uh, you know, maybe as I get more experience, because these things are maxed out at like 65 miles an hour. Today I've already drove uh, 402 miles after I dropped off my load of steel. Um, they dispatched me to Dibol, Texas, D-I-B-O-L-L, -L, and uh, that's where I'm at right now. And uh, as soon as I get, I, ha I only have two hours and 35 minutes left on my 14-hour clock, which is what I'm operating on right now, which means, and it's two hours, they're sending me back to Houston, which I don't mind. They have, Maverick has a, a minimum 350-mile rule, so... If, like this load is only 200 miles they're going to pay me a minimum of 350 miles they call them short mile loads so hey I, I thought I was only gonna make an extra hundred bucks today because I have to tarp this but uh, it turns out it's gonna be more than that on top of what I already did with my my uh, 1100 mile load that I completed today so I've completed a an 1100 mile load and what was the one before that Seven, eight, a nine hundred mile load before that. So uh, I've already got you know roughly it's Wednesday and I have two thousand miles already and I'm working on a three hundred fifty mile load that I was hoping to get back to Houston tonight. So I've been twenty three hundred miles by the end of Wednesday and two days left to run. I don't know if this is average. Uh, I'm keeping track of all this stuff and I'll I'll make a video once I get to that point to show you know my averages and also my average pay and how that's all working out um, just so everybody can have a perspective uh, for from the uh, how Maverick what the average is and I don't know I, I'm, I'm hoping to do at least a month maybe a little bit longer because I want a good sample I mean really I should go for six months and then show the data because that would be more accurate but you know I'll, I'll go a month and see what happens I'm required to wear my vest and a hat here. Right now I'm waiting for uh, two trucks there that are ahead of me. One truck is being loaded. Uh, it looks like he's throwing straps and maybe pulling out. There's a red truck that's going to back in and get loaded and then it's my turn. I don't see how I'm going to be able to get to the shipper tonight. I'll, that's what the plan, or the cosignee, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, I don't think they're going to load the next truck and me and I scale and I secure my load and I tarp my load in 33 minutes. That's what they'd have to do. That's what would have to happen in order for me to get to where I want to be tonight. So since that's not going to happen, I'll most likely be staying on... Uh, as I traveled up 59 to get here, I noticed there's a lot of um, little places for trucks to park. But I'm not familiar with it enough to say... Okay, I've, I've got uh, 30 minutes on my clock. I'll just drive down the road and hope I find something. So we'll see uh, We'll see what I can find. I might have to bust out the Google Map satellite view and find some place that looks like I can park my rig on the side of the road. I mean, it's only, a, it's only an hour. If I can get an hour down the road, I'd be happy. And then I've only got an hour in the morning to go to get to the uh, cosine E. And I know exactly where I need to go because I've looked it up. And I always ask for directions to, to get uh, specific. So this shouldn't be too bad. 
I wanted to get there so I can um, do my pre-trip um, unload all at one time and then start my clock with basically uh, 11 hours of drive time available. That, that would allow me to get uh, an optimum load. But sometimes that doesn't matter because one day they, they just said, hey, you want to go to Houston because you're the first on the board? I was like, sure. That was the first time I've this is my second time to Houston. I don't know if this is going to be a repeat thing. I understand there's not a whole lot of freight out of here. So, hey, whatever. Wherever they tell me to go, that's where I'll drive. And uh, we'll do that. I don't know if I mentioned it's 75 degrees here. So I've got the air conditioning, the EPU running in the back. I never seem to have a problem getting cold air. Um, the front gets a little bit warm unless I turn the truck on itself, which I don't do. I don't like to idle. Even though my, my my quarterly metrics won't even start until March, uh, I don't. I'm trying to pay attention as much as I can to being uh, efficient with uh, uh, the different parameters that they judge pay for performance on. So I'm trying to be good now, so when it comes time to when the numbers actually count, I can. Uh, I know what I'm doing so anyway that's all for now um, if you made it this far it's a good uh, well it's only six minutes and 30 seconds so um, if you felt this is informative give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already please do so if you uh, we'll see how this uh, continued Maverick adventure goes I'm finding myself more contemplating uh, uh, life as I drive, which is uh, which is good. So anyway, till next time.